We told you how several Austin firefighters just returned from the front lines of the California wildfires. What you haven't seen is what the department is doing to rid crews of toxic chemicals after a fire here at home. That's because AFD says cancer is the number one killer of firefighters nationwide. Our Sally Hernandez has been following the new safety measures and gives us a look at how it works. Lieutenant, so after a firefighter gets out of fighting a fire, you hose them down and you collect their bunker gear, put it in a bag, and that's collected at the scene, and then you bring it to this location here. What do you do then? So once we get it here, um, we perform what we call a technical decon or an advanced cleaning. We'll take it out of the bags here and we'll put it into our extractor. Um, our extractor is basically an industrial washing machine uh, that's designed more to specifically for uh, these types of, of you know, clothing. And what is the hope that it extracts all of the harmful chemicals? So when we perform that uh, gross decon on scene, when we hose them down, uh, studies are showing that that takes about 85% of the chemicals out. But that 85% is mostly on the outside. It's okay. on that shell part. And so uh, the hope here is that we're getting the rest of that 15%, as well as getting carcinogens and, and chemicals that are embedded in the actual uh, line, inner liner of it. What is the end goal, do you think, for the fire department with this initiative? Our end goal is just to provide more safety and health for our firefighters. Again, this is a, a cancer prevention initiative that's going around the department. Um, it's happening in departments nationwide. It's a, a new culture shift, you know, in the fire service all around. It's pretty cool. The Austin Fire Department has been using the new initiative for a little over a month. It's responded to 12 fires in that time frame and exchanged 103 sets of contaminated gear for clean loaner gear. Gear. The goal is to have the firefighters' original gear decontaminated and given back to them within their same shift. AFD says it has about 450 sets of loaner gear ready to roll out. And here is where some of that loaner gear comes from. Each uniform has a shelf life of 10 years. They get retired after seven years in Austin, becoming part of the loaner gear for the remaining three years. Ideally, Austin Fire Department says it would like a second set of gear for each firefighter, but that would cost millions of dollars.